In today's world, collaboration has become an essential ingredient for success, especially when it comes to tackling global issues. Following the U.S.-Africa Leaders Summit in 2022, and on the heels of Secretary Blinken's four-country Africa tour in January that included stops in Abuja and Lagos. The U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Educational and Cultural Affairs, Lee Satterfield, visited the University of Lagos to further discuss opportunities in education and culture. It happened in 2022, and our Secretary of State, who visited Nigeria in January of this year, it was important for me to come back and talk about expanding opportunities between our two countries in education and culture. And I mentioned three new programs that we're launching today that are opportunities for Nigerians in the creative economy sector. We see that as amazing place of growth because of what we're seeing globally around the world. The Vice Chancellor, University of Lagos, in her welcome remark, noted that the university is one of the top university for hosting Fulbright scholars. We have a very long history the United States. At the present count, we have over 38 Fulbright scholars in this university. And I understand, because I didn't know, um, that we are one of the top universities for hosting Fulbright scholars that are coming from the United States. So we're very happy. We've had quite a lot of interaction, and as an academic institution, we're particularly focused on ensuring that we continue to have cross-fertilization between scholars from everywhere in the world, but particularly from the United States. The U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Education during her address announced the launch of several programs by the United States in Nigeria. So on behalf of President Biden and Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, it is my honor to be with you today on this beautiful campus, the University of Lagos, a premier institute of higher learning in Africa's largest country. And earlier today, as you heard from the Vice Chancellor, I had the privilege of joining the Vice Chancellor and Consul General Stevens at a meeting where the United States and the University agreed to open the window on America. Here on your campus, Yes. It's going to be really cool. It's a hub that will be open to all. It will offer information about studying in the United States, opportunities to participate in workforce development, training, and experience American culture, as well as access to fast and free internet to university students and to faculty. The event also involved interactive sessions with students of the university. So my question is, how does the U.S. Embassy or the U.S. Consulate help Nigerian students who are looking at studying um, in the U.S.? And how can we find out about scholarships to study in the universities in the United States? As soon as we open Window to America on this campus, you'll be able to walk in to a physical location and talk with people who are education advisors who can help through that process. Many here say the power of collaboration transcends borders, belief, and backgrounds, and it is a cornerstone upon which we can build a world of peace, sustainability, and innovation. For Rapid TV, Estaumelo.